Yeah. So, we'll uh, shoot a little video this morning. We're unloading this truck. Yeah, it's a little wider view. It's fun when you deal with vehicles and stuff around. This isn't uh, this job site's right downtown. So, anyway, good morning to everyone. It's a little something I got going on this morning. So, I hate when they do that when they pull on the chains, but because then it causes a bunch of pendulum swing. So now I gotta try to compensate for this guy wanting to pull on. It's always fun, you know. As soon as I catch my swing, now I'll have to go back over just to catch it again. They don't realize if I do a left swing, the load is going to automatically go right. Sometimes I wonder if riggers should take a class based on cranes so they know how the crane works. Because some just don't get it. They don't get, if, if I'm hooked to something and I swing left, the load is automatically going to swing right. So, because it's, it's, it's called momentum, is what it's called. So, that momentum has got to release somewhere so it swings right and then it'll start swinging left. They just don't get it. Actually, had a rigger show up yesterday that I worked with in Stillwater, Oklahoma, and this guy was point on with uh, function direction, distance and or speed, uh, function stop. Uh, he was clearly on it. It was giving me perfect distance. Um, I think there's a lot to be said that a crane operator is only as good as the rigger he's working with. So. Um, If you have a really good rigger that you're working with, your your crane operations will go so smooth. Um, probably a little different in a mobile crane because you're on the ground. Uh, maybe a little different, you know, but when you're in a tower crane, it is a, it's essential. Very essential to have a good uh, rigger and signal person. Uh, it makes your day go so much easier. 
Sometimes these these signal people, uh, signal person thinks that a crane can just turn and stop on a dime, and and they don't. And if you want to do a small distance like I'm doing right now, it's it's a number of bumps. So it's a number of little bumps over. If, if, if you do. Uh, yeah, as soon as you're done swinging the load, I'll trail in. Uh, Can we make it? Not here. 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 So, I guess it's all about it's all about training people. Just like this, I I could have just cabled all the way down. Instead, you cable down so much, and then they have you cable down some more. So it, it gets a little irritating sometimes because it just it irritates sometimes. It really does. And then the tagline issue I've been having with these people, they just consistently don't want to tagline my stuff. I, I finally shut the crane down yesterday until they taglined it and it worked i had a fellow crane operator tell me to do that and it worked and uh they just think they play this game with the tagline that if they have a tagline they have the crane and they don't the tagline's not for them it's for me it's uh, so i don't smack somebody in the face with a chain you know the tagline lets me know i'm 12 feet from the the hook is 12 feet from that person so these are some of the issues that you come into when you're running a tower crane because you are so high up in the air. Um, every little thing that you can do uh, helps to prevent uh, uh, an accident or a near miss. Um, those are things you do not want uh, to happen. Um, you will have the occasional bump into things. Uh, you'll have that on any job. I don't care how big or small it is. Um, I don't care how experienced you are. Like I said in the beginning of this video, you're only as good as the signal person you have working with you because you can't you can't literally rig and signal your own load. All you do is operate. So your your signal and uh, rigor, you know, is essential to have a good one because they can make or break you. Uh, they can make you very frustrated. If they're not doing their job correctly, so it's it can be a give and take, you know, and it can get very frustrating sometimes if they're not doing their job correctly. Um, Another thing I don't do is I don't ever move the uh, I don't ever move my my block until they give me a signal because the second you do they'll be like hey I, I didn't tell you to cable up you know I didn't tell you to swing now I will like catch my swing correct my swing things that, of that nature but I won't uh, as soon as I'm hooked to a load I won't. The only thing I'll do is, is get my uh, block uh, center. I'll get my block center.
because a lot of these guys want to sideload your stuff. I don't know why they think it goes faster if they do that. Um, nothing's going to go faster uh, by by side loading the hook or you know the block or or, or anything like that or screaming in the radio. I've had to go through this with them as well. Saying it faster is not going to mean it's going to get done faster. I'm going to operate the crane at the speed that I'm comfortable with. Um, so. There, there is no need to run 100 miles an hour um, if you don't have to. I mean, as long as you're running a steady pace all day, uh, there's no need for running fast where things can happen. You know what I'm saying? So. Like I said, I had a rigger yesterday. And I'm going to tell you, if you have a signal person that knows how to do uh, a function direction, distance enter speed, function stop, and they do it correctly, and they're on point, and they're on point with it, um, and they're on point with it, it's almost. It's almost as if they're operating the crane. All you're doing is they're relaying to you what they need done. And if they're doing it efficiently, your crane will run fast. And it's because you're getting the proper signal. So when you get the proper signal, a crane will run very quickly. So like I said, I'm on a new job. So I've had a couple hiccups here. Um, just going, you know, day-to-day -day routine with, uh, like I said, rig and signal people, um, and we've worked those little things out uh, slowly but surely. But um, just you know, you try to build a relationship with these people so you can become better at your job. And if they're incompetent at doing their job, it makes it very hard for you to do your job because you're constantly having to fix their mistakes. So. This uh, job is going quite uh, smoothly and been pouring a lot of concrete getting forms done, getting the, getting the columns in, getting our elevator shafts done. Um, oh, I just want it. Yeah, maybe. Uh, so, you know, just getting those things done. Um, These guys are a little bit pushy, uh, and doing so, I've kind of told them that, you know, like I was saying earlier, you're not going to make the crane go any faster by barking commands. It's just not, uh, it's not going to make it go any quicker. So, as you can clearly see, I don't know, I don't know if you can see it, but that tagline, it just landed on his shoulder, it lets me know I'm that close. So, you know, it's the one time, it's the one time you don't operate without a tagline that you're, that you're gonna wish you did. So, these are good practices to keep because I haven't worked with these guys for several months or several years. You know, this job is brand new, so we're still learning each other. But even after 
getting to know these guys a while, I still won't run my chain without a tagline. Uh, you always want that tagline because when things really start speeding up, you need that as your form to let you know you're close to someone. You know, like I said, the one time you don't use it is the one time something will happen. So, and you know, you're training the, the rig and signal person that you're working with that they'll repeatedly do it because even being an operator, sometimes you get rushed or in a hurry and, and you might even forget. So it's good that they remember as well, you know, and it's an everyday process. Every, every day I have to remind these guys tagline, tagline. So. I mean, how much less swing? How much less swing you want, buddy? This area is so small, like, it's not a lot of room to work, it really is. And it's gonna get tighter, I mean, it's not real tight yet. <laughs> it's gonna get tighter. It's gonna get real tight in here. So, which is good, I mean, this is good practice for finesse, definitely. And running a tower crane is all about finesse. So, I mean, anybody, I think anybody could move a load from point A to point B uh, with enough confidence and um, some training. But finesse comes with time. And, uh, all right, Charlie out, buddy. Charlie out. Finesse just comes with time, and, and that's what makes a great uh, crane operator is finesse. Having the ability to finesse things and, you know, do the impossible sometimes. So. Yep. So as it comes back to me. See, this guy can pull on my load. So, yeah, every time you pull on that load, you're creating swing. I'm saying these, these guys don't have a clue about that. Or if they do, they're, they're doing it on purpose. So... And you'll have that too, I mean. When you work in a field like this, or when you're in a position like this, when you're an operator, you get a lot of haters sometimes. Not not a lot, but you'll, you'll get some haters. You know, people will hate on you. And it's a... Uh, I mean... I guess, I mean, it's 30 degrees out. We started, it was 28. I guess I'd be a little salty too if I had to work outside when it's that cold, and I have. Uh, I did for years. Um, I'm glad I don't know. <laughs> but. Yeah.
and I'm just cruising this morning. Um, you know, we don't have a lot going on. I think we had to pull some forms out. And that's about it. So, some wall forms for the elevator shaft to my uh, east. guy does that I usually slow it down just to make him say it faster <laughs> I probably shouldn't do that but uh, yeah it's, it's already going down it's not gonna go any faster <laughs> I guess another thing would be um, no matter what they say on height, always do it at the height you're comfortable with. You know, never. Uh, I mean, you can trust their judgment. Maybe if you've worked with them for several years, but like I said, that's building a relationship, and that takes time, and it's trust. So, um, I always run at the height I'm comfortable with. I never let them tell me uh, what height I'm going to run. The only thing I take strong direction on from them is going to be the trolley in, or, or you know, cable down lower uh, but my height is the height I I want it to be at whether it's too high or not I don't I don't um, I don't care if they think it's too high I'm gonna run it at the height I want to run it at so And you'll hear them chattering on the radio. They'll be bitching. And it's too high. Or I could give two shits less. I guess that's something I've been encountered. Is that? Is that? Um, you know, they they think they operate the crane and they don't they just give you a signal uh, I so, me, when it comes down to it you do what you feel is comfortable for you um, but that's just a little snippet of what we got going on today we're just unloading this truck and that's about it. I just wanted to talk about that a little bit this morning. And if uh, anybody's new and getting into this and, and wondering what 
kind of things you go through, those are some of the things you go through. And, uh... Ah, yeah, Mr. That's just, uh... Some of the basic stuff that you go through every day as a crane operator, and um, it's a, sometimes it's a day by day process, and other times it goes a little smoother. You know, some days you'll have days where it just goes terrible, um, <coughs> and it's all communication problems, is all it is. Um, usually, the you know, between operator and signal person, so you'll have somebody to rig something up bad. And, that's, you know, you can't let them slide on anything. If they're rigging things bad and they're signaling bad, you got to call it out quickly, uh, get it resolved, or something uh, something can happen. So, and you definitely don't want something to happen. So, uh, well, these are just some of the everyday things that you'll go through if you're new into this. So. It's an experience, you know. Anyway, hope you guys are having a beautiful morning, as I am. I'm staying warm. It's only 30 degrees out but it's probably about 70 uh, something in here. <laughs> anyway, hope you guys are having a good one, man. Take it easy, and uh, we'll see you on the next pick.